And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later over there for some Jess Sky Storm Conduit. So whenever I put this deck together, uh, I wanted to play a deck with Deafening Clarion, with all of the Vivians and mana creatures that are running around, uh, and just like the aggro decks uh, also. Just thought Deafening Clarion was a really good sweeper that's just not seeing very much play. And so I wanted to put it in a Jeskai deck because, of course, the Teferis are awesome and the blue card draw is really good. And so I wanted to build a Jeskai control deck with Deafening Clarion in mind. Uh, besides that, then the other thing I was thinking is I was like, well, I haven't really seen anybody playing like the Ro the Ral, <laughs> sorry, Ral Storm Conduit combo uh, too much, you know? Like, you never really play against Ral where people are trying to double expansion and go infinite with two expansions and of course how that works is you need to have any spell that cost four or less on the stack it could be your own shock or your own opt or maybe your opponent casts an instant or a sorcery that costs four or less and then you need to have two expansions in hand um, you need to just be able to play one expansion to copy whatever spells on the stack and then play your second expansion that copies your first expansion um, and continue to copy your first expansion and keep copying it over and over. And each time you copy, when you have Ral in play, each time that you copy, you deal one damage. So you have an infinite kill there, or infinite damage kill there. So that's what our deck's doing. Uh, we also, most of the time though, that we win, we're just usually casting a really big explosion that will minus two, um, and then cast like explosion for seven and therefore deal 14, plus like the other, the other triggers that Ral has. That's how we usually win though also uh, but that's what's going on with our deck that's why you see a lot of in cheaper instants and sorceries here for to help our expansions that's why i got this got this blink of an eye too because like blink of an eye on its own is not that great of a card whenever you kick it you're like all right four mana bounce something draw a card that's pretty good it's not it's not spectacular but you know that's acceptable but if you get to ral minus two and copy it and so that you get to do four mana, bounce two things, draw two cards. Now that's that's where we're talking. You know, four mana, draw two is like Chemistry's Insight, but then you also bounce two permanents. Now we're talking. So that's what we got going on. Um, we got some Ixalan's Bindings in here as well for like the aggro matchups. Got an Ugin uh, if we want another Planeswalker against Control. Um, but yeah, Narsat's to Fairies. These are just really solid cards. So that's our deck. Let's give it a try. So we're going to play three matches over in ranked with this. Just doing three instead of five because it's a little later already. Um, this being the last deck, the other decks we play today uh, took took a good amount of time. So we're just going to play three matches. Try to go two and one. That's the goal. Here. Um, we, of course, don't really want to play against little teferi too much because we're trying to do a bunch of instant speed stuff but i think we we may be fine anyway <laughs> three oh is the goal sorry my bad that's what i meant three oh is the goal Steamkin. Sorry, I'm late. Back yeah, here's Steamkin. Like Play another creature. Can we clear on away two creatures? No, nope, not another creature. Let's try um, this. I guess I just shock this thing. Uh, the song that just ended was time per t time 
to pretend by MGMT. Back that back to where it was. You just let me know if you're up for round two. All right, time to scry. I'd like to get more value out of my deafening clarions than just like the one creature. Super gross and not my fault. Yeah, Sarkin's good. A permanent card that lets you play lands on opponent's turns. Come on. Yeah, I don't know if you'll see anything like that. Well, that was unpleasant. Yep, Ral soaking up some damage for us. That's good. Some. All right, so they should be playing Chandra here, so I'm hoping they don't have another shock. I, I assume they don't have a shock considering how that went with taking out the Ral there. Or a lightning strike. Oh no! Ugh. Dang. What would you risk to beat me? It all built up to this. You will regret this. So I know that they get to basically kill our Ral, but I get to kill the Chandra now by, by playing the Ralph first. Um, I get that extra point of damage through it. to be able to kill the Chandra. So Chandra's gone. Ralph goes down to one loyalty, assuming they want to hit Ral. That, that but we're still at 22. I know my responsibility. This might be a bad idea. I train and meditate and prepare. So this is deal three, draw three. I gotta end this game before the frenzy takes over and kills me. So going with the explosion. Come on, just have a land on top. I already played a land. No. Uh, I must stay focused. <laughs> the frenzy doesn't take over games. What are you talking about? We will meet again. I guess I need to kill the Steamkin. It's either deal four to them or deal four to Steamkin. Guess I have to kill Steamkin. All right, I can tuck Frenzy next turn, but they have, you know, 
Eight mana here. Come on, hit a land, hit a land. I've already hit so many lands though. Oh no. Just don't kill my 4-4. It's fine. Land. And now a land. Ooh, good thing they attacked with the monkey. Because if they don't attack with the monkey there, they get to kill my dragon. Oh yeah, Steamkin would have just done everything. Um, I mean, is it even worth tucking Frenzy when they just get to replay Frenzy? Yeah, it probably is still. That's probably better than us just drawing a random card. I am not going to sit there. Reverse. They're gonna just play another one, but then the other one will be in the way, kind of stuff, kind of thing. So I've seen one of the four expansion explosions so far. Oh, come on, be a land on top. No. Land on top. Land on top. Land on top. I've already played the land. Yay! It wasn't even a land, but they, it was something they couldn't play. Um, one, two, three, four, five. So now we're going to coil this. Tuck Sorry that. I'm late. Let's take it back. All right, we know the next two cards are frenzies. There we go. So is it good to Narset's reversal uh, a burn spell? Or a light at the stage? Yeah, our explosion there was pure gas. True. I guess that's better at killing fr Frenzy. Some of these other things. Okay, what is not very good in this matchup? I don't want Time Raveler. I don't think I really even want Narset. Narset's just like as can't activation plus gain three life. For three mana. Yeah, Binding is for Frenzy and Chandra and Rekindling Phoenix, if they have that. All right, here we go. I, I mean, I still like Search for Escanta. Card's just awesome. It's going to help us in the late game. All right, this hand can do something. I don't know what yet. We'll do something. Steamkin, no Steamkin.
All right, so we'll just counter the light at the stage. Uh, especially since I have a binding for a frenzy, so I don't have to be super worried about a frenzy right now. Would I want to copy a light up the stage? Okay, well, no light up the stage. Rail. He's my pal. You're messing up my equation. I am really into current affairs. Get it? Because current uh, electricity. Just get out of here, Ral. All right, yeah, I need I need more lands for this explosion. So keeping the land here. Perfect binding. Everyone complains to me about the weather. Hey, who please? Good evening. This lightning strikes a lot more than twice. Back to, thank you. All right, target via Shino, then target me. The new one, deal one up here. Target that, then target me. Do one up here. Alright, so we'll draw some more cards. Ooh, I like Dovin's Veto. Hopefully we can get our opponent to brick for a turn here, and then we can have, like, Veto for... <clears throat> for other spells. I have just the thing to take you out for good. Who's the burn deck now? Uh, yeah, I guess I just keep an opt. Nope. Down to 13. Stairs. Probably gonna just minus two this opt again, so yeah. Just doing this on my turn. <laughs> You're not gonna like this. Yes. That is the card I want. That is not a card I want. Um, it's just three, four, so yeah, so if they, if they draw a land this next turn, they die. Bleh. No! Don't shock the rail, don't shock the rail, don't shock the rail, don't do it. I'm at four. I'm at four. Yes. Minus two. For every action, there's a reaction, and you are not gonna like this. Let's go five upstairs. Five to you, copy it. Five to you. All right, we did it. Rel. Getting that 20 in. 
getting that 20 in. All right, want to know. Starting off strong. <laughs> you never get to ride the lightning when you play Rail. Yeah, that was, a, that was a good game there. Good game. Yeah, this deck's pretty fun to play. It's a little different. Yeah, Mono Red getting out outburned. I mean, that's why Ral is the Storm Conduit. We had that, that clutch Ixalan's binding for the Frenzy, of course. And our opponent just threw away a lot of burn spells early to to you know to be able to empty their hand before Frenzy, which makes sense. But then they didn't have the burn spells to kill the Ral. Anymore. Ride the lightning. What game was that in? What, some game on my phone. Kingdom Rush. That game. I guess I just play this just in case I need the shock. It means that we may have to shock in with this land. Later. What? Main deck negate. Rude. No, I don't think that was really misplayed by the red player. No, I don't think they really made a misplay. They made a, a judgment call to go upstairs, which makes sense when I'm at four. I can no longer stand by and watch. I've got it. Maybe I should just minus there. So I'm, I'm taking up because we saw lightning strike over there. All right, I'm going to minus this time. No, I am not making this up as I go. Blah. Hmm. All spells over there. So if I just don't play anything, they can't interact with my spells. So they'll have to just go to discard here. Well, they can't interact with this anyway, because they can't counter stuff. If you wish to surrender, hone your prowess. Tuffery. I'll protect you. Thanks, you please. All right, so Grixis control is what it looks like. Grixis doesn't really deal with Ixalan's binding. Let's get that in. Let's get this Narset in. Um, let's go with the Vetoes, the other Teferi, the Ugin, no Clarion. I don't know. Like, Clarion's good against uh, War Boss. Coil's good against the 4 4. I like Shock. So have like these planeswalkers kill like the four fours. Maybe I don't want all these planeswalkers here actually because of Elder Spell. All these cards are good. All these cards are good. Well, I definitely want to keep shocks because of war boss. And also, shocks can just go like upstairs at the planeswalkers, you know, like a Nicol Bolas or a Sarkin that minuses. Uh, we can shock those.
Uh, I like hands with a lot of lands against Grixis decks. Uh, with them having all the discard they have and everything, I don't really want to... This isn't like a matchup that I want to um, mulligan it in whenever they have cards that just reduce the resources from both sides like Thought Erasures do. No, I don't have any spell pierces. Okay, in the way. <laughs> oh, I have I have a dog too. Yeah, my dog's name's Puppy. She's not usually on the stream as much. Because this is Hawkeye's room. Puppy stays in the living room. Because Hawkeye's scared of Puppy. So good news, I can binding that. Bad news. If they have a nickel bolus. The other nickel bolus here, I don't have an answer for it right now. Well, I mean, obviously I have the Teferi that could tuck it, but. All right, yay. And I'm not going to, I don't want to throw this out into a counter spell. Let's be able to have our own counter spell to protect it. Well, that's two Dragon Gods already. Please, not a third Dragon God. Oh, they have an Ugin. Yeah, Ugin's annoying. Do I want to tuck Ugin? Or just draw a card? I think I just draw a card here. Keep up the pace. All right, so that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So explosion for six. Kill this, draw six cards. This explosion card is nice. Truth lies beyond vision. Six is a lot of cards. Okay, so we're going to... How are we doing on mana? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So we got 9 mana. So that'd be 3, 6, 7, and then hold up Veto. Well, I can... I can... Hmm. Yeah. So you get tucked. Not so fast. All right, you get bounced. You'll thank me later. Here we go.
You get shocked. Mind and bot with thoughtfulness before action. All right, we're doing it, Hawkeye. Third Nickel Bolas Dragon God down. And uh, King is down. That's sweet. Expansion Explosion is just incredible. Like, Explosion? You get to draw so many cards. Like, so many cards, Hawkeye. So many. All right, 2-0. We're going to play one more match tonight. And then I'll feed you, Hawkeye. I know you're up here wanting your food. We are already 2-0. We're already going to have a winning record, even if we lose this. But we may go 3-0. Hawkeye was named after the University of Iowa, Hawkeyes. No, Hawkeye's also a Marvel character as well. But I was born in Iowa. Hawkeyes was a stray cat in Iowa. Named him after the University of Iowa, the Hawkeyes. That's my, that was my favorite college team growing up and everything. I don't think I shock for opt right now. I think it's better to wait a little bit on the opt to see like what we may need. There's like, you know, nothing right now. Like maybe we need lands later, maybe we maybe we need spells. We just don't know. This is the War of, uh, War of the Spark Basic Island. You can switch your basics in Arena now. Uh, there's an option in the advanced filters for basic land. I'm just going to keep this. I'm going to keep that so I don't feel bad about putting more lands in the graveyard like that. So that's four cards in the graveyard already towards Escanta. Wow. We could kill our opponent next turn. We need a land. It's not a land. Um, and we need our... Like, if our opponent plays, like, Nissa here... Right? Like, everybody always plays Nissa at five mana. Oh, Hostage Taker? Even... Uh, yeah, that, that'll work. Okay. I don't know exactly... Alright, let's 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 go full control. Okay, full control. Let's try not to mess this up. Shock. You. With that on the stack. Uh, submit. Should be... Infinite... Combo. Oh, Hawkeye, do not do not lay on the keyboard. Sorry, you may mess this up. All right, we gotta target the first expansion. Okay, and we just do that over and over and over again. You can do it without full control? Okay, yeah, I believe you. I just, yeah, I didn't want to risk it. Yeah, we just won. You don't need to mine us, no. All right, Infi the good old turn five kill in standard. Turn four row, turn five kill ya. So they're playing um, Sultai stuff. 
We saw a hostage taker and an incubation druid. So Coil's good against Sultai stuff. We'll play that instead of Blink. No, let's get Clarion in instead of this Coil. Yeah, get another, get a fourth Clarion in here. Um, actually, we may need Cleansing Nova. They have like Big Crasis or Big Wild Growth Walker. Actually, I need that Blink. Let's trim Narset. I got the Teferi Time Waster too, though. I don't know. I'm not going to do too much. Basically, trimming a Narset for another Clarion. That's about it. Oh, I could have Reversal for Dread Horde. If, yeah, if they're a Dread Horde deck. I could do that. But then I would lose lots of life with that. So I'd have to be careful. Well, we got we got the combo. Rao plus two expansions. So do I keep the combo in hand, or do I just try to win with Ascanta to Fairy? We gotta just go Ascanta to Fairy. Let's slow this down. That's more like it. I do not. Perish the thought. BK Rom. I do not. That's sad. Those expansions are so good. Wow. Just ditching the contempt. You got no lands over there. I am going to need another land, but I can probably flip this as Kanta too, though. Man. It's unfortunate that I'm going to be giving them their Jade Light back. Odds of victory look good. To hit more land drops. Don't worry. I got this. When a storm sea washes the dead ashore, Super yeah, I do need a land. Not my fault. For Teferi, <clears throat> I guess I don't get to put the top card over with Ascanta again. You're one in eleven with a dredge deck. No, it's not. It's not the easiest deck to play. I'll give it that. I think you'll be needing that. This isn't a fight you can win. You need to slow down. Here we go. But I have gotten pretty fortunate with the deck. <laughs> Danger only makes field research more interesting. Yeah. I'm so sad I had to discard both those expansion explosions. All right, at least that's not a Nissa that's killing. Like a Nissa would would be a lot more trouble. Yay! We get an expansion back. Um, Those who cannot just keep an open mind. Scry. Is it land on top? Guild mage, planeswalker. Not a land. Genius inventor. I got it all. Do we get a land? Let's try this. Ah, dang. I went greedy there. Try to hit land and then play other Teferi. Because, of course, with like the being able to copy explosion, certainly want lands. All right, so if I put this there, I get to flip as Kanta. So I guess I'll just go graveyard, 
flip as Kanta. Um, find Deafening Clarion. Just the trick for this. Shock. Need more lands. I won't hide. Hold that thought. Does my opponent have a mortal son? Oh crap! They do have a mortal son, don't they? Wait. Dang it! I can combo kill them next turn. If I don't shock. I'm really into current affairs. Get it? Because current electricity? <laughs> Never mind. I was like originally planning on, you know, doubling up, like doing Rao minus and doing double shock. But as long as they don't have duress, we just have combo kill. And it doesn't matter if they have a mortal sun in play. Well, they just let Ral go again. My worst defeat. I shall miss your company. All right, I'll try. No, I don't really want to try not doing it with. I don't know. I'm kind of like too nervous to to try it without uh, full control. Resolve that. Resolve this. Copy the first one. Copy the first one. And there we go. I don't know if you like actually like time out doing that. I've never actually taken the whole time to do it because people um oh sorry, I had this I had that pointed down more because Hawkeye was in here. Because people always can see, thankfully. Just like a couple of times in. You don't time out? Okay, good. I haven't done that, like, I, I don't think I've done it even, like, five times, because <laughs> everybody's just conceded. you played a lot, you never time out. Okay, awesome. All right, so there we go. That was Jeskai Storm Conduit. That was a lot of fun. Uh, I'll have to play this deck again here soon. This deck, uh, I don't, yeah, it was, it was pretty fun to play. You know, like, Rao Storm Conduit's just a card that you just don't see very often at all. Um, but, yeah, can't complain with the... The three and zero there, and yeah, basically no nobody's playing counter spells these days, which I think makes this even better. Uh, but then, of course, you do have your Teferi Time Ravelers to help protect you there as well. Um, but yeah, even if, even the games you're not comboing, you just have Explosion. Explosion's just an awesome card uh, in like these control decks that slow the game down, and then you know copy copy Explosion whenever we even saw like we did like Explosion for two against like the red opponent. Uh, copy it though, and so we get to gain four. We get to draw four cards. So you know, for like that six mana, is even just a draw four, and that's like as as bad as it is. Um, so yeah, there we go. Um, all right. Oh, Matthew, that looks awesome. Yeah, that looks really cool. Yeah, that keychain there that looks really cool. All right, so that's Jeskai Storm Conduit. Like I said, I'll have to come back to this one here in the next few days because this was a lot of fun to play and was pretty impressive, I have to say. So if you're watching the video later on YouTube, I hope you enjoyed it, and please hit the like button. If you did, I would really appreciate that. Um, but that's it here for Jeskai Storm Conduit. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you for another video.